Landscape photography in summer. There's not much to love about it, or is there? If, like me, you enjoy shooting at sunrise, summer means you'd have to get up much earlier. You know it's early when you're on your way and the moon is still bright in the night sky. On this particular morning, it was windy, overcast, and there was still a 40 minute hike to the location in darkness. Now, I'd planned this shoot, but found myself asking if it was even going to be worth it. For me, 100% yes. Sometimes, dealing with the conditions in landscape photography is as much a physical battle as it is a mental one. Often, it's much easier to talk ourselves out of doing something than into doing something. You're not always going to win that mental battle, but the more times that you do and just get yourself out there, it will reap benefits and can be surprisingly wonderful in so many ways. Good morning. It's just after sunrise and I'm out here this morning to capture some sand dunes. Oh, it's windy, but it's a beautiful morning. I'll just pause here and say that I think I broke a personal record for how many times I dropped the word beautiful in this video. So let's have a bit of fun with this and keep count. Uh, and with sand dunes, things to keep in mind, uh, to look for textures and the wind crafts these beautiful rivets and patterns and lots of textures in the sand. So that's what I'll be looking out for today, uh, together with looking for leading lines. So often shaped by S curves and looking for contrast between light and shadows and how all that harmonizes together uh, in a nice composition. So uh, first up, I found this beautiful S curve that's just uh, curving over to my left and uh, leading us off into the horizon with mountain ranges in the background. And there's this deep fall off from the edge of this uh, S bend here with some beautiful rivets and curves that's uh, in the foreground here. And I'm starting to see some beautiful light now just uh, creep through behind the clouds over there. So what I'll do is I think I'll switch up my composition. I'll work myself towards that way and uh, I'll see if I can find a composition where this um, continuing with this S curve here that it just leads us more to my left and I can capture a bit more of the, uh, the light and the clouds in the background there but maintain um, this great foreground interest with uh, this beautiful uh, patterns in the sand. So let's get moving. <sighs> All right, so I've moved higher up on this sand dune here and uh, you've got to be mindful up this high and with windy conditions that I'm having at the moment, I think I'm getting wind gusts of up to about 50 kilometers at some stage, uh, is that uh, this tripod needs to be quite steady. Uh, it almost toppled over before because the wind was so strong. So making sure that it's planted uh, quite deep into the sand here and uh, you're also within reach just in case it does uh, topple over, you can grab it before it falls. So I'm just waiting for... <laughs> As I was saying, very windy and uh, even my, with my tripods planted in quite deep into the sand, <laughs> it is still getting blown over. So I'm just waiting for this sun now, just as it's rising above the clouds there in the horizon. It's casting this beautiful soft glow onto uh, the sand here. Uh, and just the patterns in the foreground so uh, I'm loving I'm loving that glow so I'll take a shot right now so now I'm actually quite wide at my widest at 10 mil and uh, it's capturing this again the same S bend as it weaves its way off 
into uh, the horizon there and I've got these um, so there's also a fall off on my right edge here so I'm capturing a little bit of that as well. So I've moved up slightly again towards the top of this sand dune and I'm actually loving this composition at the moment. So uh, continuing with this S bend here, it's actually now leading us straight to the sun at the center of my frame. And as the sun is rising, This wind is just so strong on oh, my tripod that's holding up my GoPro is uh, a bit too flimsy for my liking. Just bear with me for a second. Oh, it keeps falling over. But uh, as I was saying, as this sun is rising just over the tips of the clouds there, it is, uh, there's light just kissing the top of this dune and it's just soft uh, golden morning light and it's beautiful and you can see the top of the dune here there's also um, a fall off edge and the wind has just shaped some beautiful columns um, in the sand here and so there's a lot of texture I love here with the the waves and the ripples uh, in the foreground on top and then um, oh that's beautiful yeah that's beautiful I'm just getting this beautiful light and shadow uh, the interplay between light and shadows hey um, I'm loving that shot what I'll do is actually reduce my aperture all the way down to f22 and I'll see if I can get a nice starburst there I am just holding this GoPro camera just to make sure it doesn't topple over these conditions are very hard to work in <laughs> It's just casting beautiful shadows over these dunes. That sun is just glorious. getting uh, whipped by sand here as the wind is blowing through and uh, my tripod that was holding my GoPro fell for the fourth or fifth time this morning and unfortunately the GoPro broke off its mount so I'm having to uh, hand hold it right now but I've just uh, moved on to focus on these lovely patterns in the sand and uh, it's just the ripples and columns of uh, shade and, and light and uh, it's making for I think a really nice abstract shot so I've just focused on this edge of the dune as it's curving to the top left of my frame 
and uh, waiting for the wind to calm down because as it's blowing all the sand off the surface I'm losing the clarity and the texture and, and the patterns so as soon as I have a still moment I'll take a shot and with the fall off from the light just to my left there it's creating some lovely shadows on the edges it's lighting this surface here and then as the ripples cascade down there's some um, beautiful shadows uh, in those ripples. The sun has, has risen. We're about 45 minutes past sunrise now. It's lovely this time of morning because usually this area is very popular with travelers and tourists and um, by about 9, 10 o'clock it's swarming with people and taking photos of sand dunes. You don't want uh, footprints uh, in your shots. So coming up here for a, a sunrise shoot is just beautiful because all those footprints have cleared overnight and uh, everything is just so fresh and untouched in the morning so there are some nice lone trees around so I'll go find a few uh, trees to compose So I thought I'd find myself some lone trees to shoot but I came across this small sand dune which was uh, too good to pass up and it's got this um, beautiful S bend which is quite sharp and the start of it looks like a, a snake or a sea serpent's tail to be honest and it's just weaving its way towards some smaller sand dunes in the distance there so with the sun now high overhead on my left it's casting quite a steep shadow on the right and uh, I think this composition here will make um, for a nice mono shot. I also took some images with my drone. I love the different perspectives that aerial photography offers and we'll definitely be exploring this some more. So I found my lone tree after wandering around for a little bit and uh, I love that there are some dead uh, shoots or roots that are popping through the sand and these beautiful ripples that are just cascading down the slope of the dune here. So it's been crafted by wind and uh, a bit of rain so it looks like it's hardened uh, a little bit more than the surrounding sand. And then to uh, the left in the background, we've got um, part of another dune that's peeping through and some beautiful clouds just moving through. So I'm gonna take a photo with some clouds on either side um, before these clouds pass.
I think that does it for me for this morning. So thanks so much for uh, joining me out here and the big drift, uh, shooting some sand dunes. It has been a tough and challenging shoot with the wind and uh, trying to keep all my gear upright, but I've had a fantastic time and uh, I've grabbed some photos that I'm pretty pleased with as well. So it's time for me to head back. Uh, thanks so much again for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, take care, have fun out there with your photography, go take that shot, see you later.